Houston Madden 23 CFM. The Houston Texans and Perk Nowitzki heading into week five. I want to apologize for the two CPU games we played. My goal is those are the last CPU games we'll ever play on here. I'm really sorry about that. And now uh, we're going to be better. Either way, let's talk about week number five. As we go into a divisional matchup against the three and one Jacksonville Jaguars. Looks like we got a weekly award too, which I'm not too shocked about because I kind of cheesed the shit out of that game. It was Kyler Murray. 31 for 38, 425, five passing touchdowns, an interception. He got sacked four times. And James Cook, dude, James Cook by the end of the season is probably going to be like one of the best players in the league. Look at this. James Cook got it here. He also got it in week two. And then it's been Rodgers every other week. So that's that's kind of nasty. I'm a little I'm a little scared of him. I can lie that James Cook's going to look nice. Let's go take a look at the Jaguars roster. I'm excited to see why he's so lopsided. I don't remember what he picked. So Denzel Ward's his best player. 92 overall. He's also got the Force Buckner who has inside stuff. So that's going to be scary. Kind of be like playing myself a little bit because I got Kenny Clark. Shaq Barrett off the edge. Really similar team to me now that I'm looking at it. He does have Juicy Juice. Nice. Best fullback in the game. Uh, Chobi Awuja has got a way better secondary than me. Bobby Anderson. Super fast. Super tall. That's going to be scary. He's got McPherson. Miles Sanders. Okay. I'm not too scared of that. Kyle Duggar. Oh my God. His secondary is insane. Pat Fryer. Goat. Oh, to an 81 overall already. Nice job. Darius Slayton. Kevin King. This secondary is so good. He's got T-Law on the Jaguars. Bringing him back home. I respect that. Blake Martinez is the user. Not worried about that at all. Deshaun Jackson, fast. I had receivers. Okay, Patrick Queen. That's a very good user as well. Also, Daxton Hill. What the? Dude, he's got like the best secondary I think I've ever seen. He's got so many studs, so many young studs. That's how Daxton Hill are going to be crazy. All right, let's go into weekly strategy. My defensive game plan. I don't think he's going to be able to run the ball very well against me. My D-line's great and he has no O-line. So we're definitely going to be defending passes. My concern is his wide receivers are really fast. So maybe I should defend the deep pass. So I'm going to defend deep pass. Now a negative to that is DB run support. I don't see him running the ball very well against me. So I'm okay with defending the deep pass. Only other thing I do is short pass, but I don't want to give up deep. I'm tempted to do run outside to get away from DeForest Buckner, but I'm actually going to try it. I don't run the ball very much. So we might try it in this game. Either way, I'll still be able to run it. Oh, forgot to mention, I used my franchise points and I finally got that franchise staff upgrade that gives me additional focus players, which I'm so excited about. So as you can see, we got Quay Walker on there now. Sky Moore, they auto filled, but I'm not going to go with that. So Drake London, Cam Akers, Chase Young, Quay Walker. Awesome. Who's our fifth player we're going to upgrade here? I'm going to go Jeremy Chin. Uh, he's actually pretty close. He might get an upgrade right here. And remember weekly game plan goals. It's just a visual bug. It is giving me the franchise points. So I do need to look at these and actually give a shit. I'm going to do get one interception. I'm going to allow 20 points or less. Keep them in the box. I'll do 300 plus. Be a little more conservative on this one. And let's win the turnover battle because I always do that. All right. We do have an upgrade players. Let's see what options. Yep. Jeremy Chin, Rondell Moore. Two huge ones right there. So I'm going to keep going runs for Jeremy Chin. Hopefully I get things like block shed, stuff like that. Awareness, block shed, hit power, jump, main coverage, play wreck. That's pretty badass. Two block shed and one hit power. Awareness, I don't care so much about, but that's a nice upgrade. If we can get Jeremy Chin to superstar, that would be amazing to throw some abilities on him. Catching traffic, short route, and awareness works for me. And Cam Akers, I'm going power back every single time. I want break tackle. That's what I'm looking for every single time here. Break tackle, baby. Break tackle carrying Steph Arm trucking. And there we go. This is week five sponge. I hope you're ready to play. He's been talking a lot of shit before this game. I am queuing up, baby. The 83 overall Houston Texans taking on the 80 overall Jacksonville Jaguars. Ooh, heavy rain. Ooh. It's a downpour in Tampa. He said Kyler is getting boxed like a fish. This is a top tier NFL matchup. You know it, baby. Ironically, I'm not even kidding. This is two of the best teams in our league right here. So talk all the shit you want, but it actually is. I don't know if I've ever played a real Madden game in the rain. Crib, did me and you have a game in the rain previously? He's passing again, left side out route. He's gonna like these out routes. That appears to be the case. Let's go full pass, bro, here. Half back over the middle, Quay Walker's on him. Everything's boxed. Absolutely boxed! Let's go! Quan Alexander with a big sack. What the hell did you just say? I assume he goes for it from the 43. It'll be a little spooky, though. Oh, let's go! Chase Young! There's the pass rush we needed. And we're getting the ball back. First and 10. Let's try that outside run. Cammy Yikes! Hey, kind of squeezed through there. Where's his user? Patrick Queen? Easy. Easy, 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 Cam Akers! Just toss somebody! Same thing. Keep it simple, Cammy Akes! Cammy Akes! Who is he? You know what I like? Because I don't see DeForest Buckner on this side. Beautiful. 
beautiful run, Cam Akers. I'm gonna get around the edge here. Hopefully. Shit. Oh, hard cut eights. Let's go. Cam Akers is dominating. Seven to zero against the Jaguars. Spectacular play right now. All right. Got two whole seasons with this squad and the Houston Texans. I got my Texans gear on the way. I'm excited. Go, buddy. Go, go, go. Oh, I almost, 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 almost had that. Oh, he's not. He's passing. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, Chase Young and Quay Walker. Fourth and 15 from the 20. I don't know if I can agree with this decision here. I'm going to go in with Jeremy Chin. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I just got to guard this. He's going to heave one up. Reed, read, read. Nope. Let's go. Great defense. DJ Reed. Cam Akers can keep cooking. Cam Akers. Oh, my God. He's fucking shitting on people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Cam Akers. I want a Cam Akers breakout bad, dude. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Is that we going to score, Sponge? Sean Jackson is fast. It's too busy looking at chat, dude. Too busy looking at chat. Jacksonville Jaguars on the board. All right. Got to take this seriously. Jaguars are on the board, baby. I actually like the dive here. Oh, good blocks. Look at the run game. Oh, he's in cover three. He's in trouble. Be smart. Be smart. Be smart. I'm passing. Right over the middle. There's K-Makers. Slow linebackers. And he doesn't fumble. I'm going to take this right side. I know it looks weird, but... God, I'm built like that! Let's go! Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. What? That's what I was baiting him to throw. He has Evan McPherson. I think he is in field goal range. In the rain, though? Does that make it harder? I don't really know how Madden works. <laughs> I don't know how Madden works. I don't know how Madden in franchise works. Oh, fair catch. Can I fair catch this? No. No way. Smart squib. And that's halftime. It's only an 11-point game, so it's still a ball game. But luckily, I do get ball at half here. He's playing good football. It's just like, how do you... How do you not run the ball if I'm going to get this many yards per carry? 14 rushes, 112, and two touchdowns. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, his users are so slow. That's Patrick Queen. He's got 87 speed, I thought. I'm going to send Rondo Moore across his face so he has to look at him, and I'm going to throw Drake London. I'm him. I'm him! I'm him! Let's go! Let's see if I can throw another one, Cam Akers. I probably can. I can. <laughs> oh my god. Cam Akers is fucking dominating this game. I think the best play of that drive, though, was the slant across his face so his user had to take it and then toss to Drakey Poo. 18 point ball game. If I stop him here and get the ball, I have to run true clock. But my, my point was not that all short form content. You're trash, guys. Wait, can we get this to Jeremy Chin? Nasir Adderley with an interception. I had one interception on my game day goals, so we're going to get those right here. This is, like, gross. Those are the rules. Oh, my God. Let's go. Hard cut. Ugh. Oh, my God. Who is he? Who is he? Holy shit. Uh, let's go left side with this. Sponge, you better never come in my Discord DMs ever again. Sponge, you are banned from my Discord DMs. This is the most I've womped on somebody, and I'm running the football. I am not passing. I am running. Dude, the only thing I got to say, this doesn't look good for Kyler's MVP campaign because Kyler can't do shit right now since I'm dotting you up with run plays. Don't do it. Okay, good, good decision. Oh, oh, we need a bigger hit. Hit the guy. Look at Miles Sanders. All right, he's in no huddle. He wants it. All right, Sponge. Wait, where are you throwing? Underneath? Oh, the middle's open. Okay, Sponge. Okay, Sponge. All right, let's just cover underneath since he wants to keep going to that. And I'll take Quay Walker here. Shit. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. First and goal. Yep, do it again. Go no huddle. Run it again. He ran RPO out of this last time. It's it's it again. It's it. Oh, I knew it. Oh, I knew it. Ah, DJ Reed, you gotta lurk that. No, he's gonna throw underneath. You gotta go under. Gotta go. Oh no, the middle. He's got the middle so open. 
Oh, dude. He had the angle route over the middle. Fourth and goal. Come on, baby. It's a run. It's a jet sweep. It's not. What is this? Is, it, is this a stretch? 100%. There it is! <gasps> Fun! Oh, Fawn Miller was sitting on that. I don't know why he didn't pick it. That's for pride, and I didn't get it. I need you there, Vonny boy. He's got an open pass. Nope. Perfectly sat on that one. Unfortunately, I don't get any experience for Jeremy Chin for that. Still chewing the clock. I'm looking. Drake London should be pretty open here. Ooh, his user got over there, but he didn't commit. He's going to walk right past him. Oh, that's man coverage. Never mind. Well, then you can throw the slant if they're on main coverage. I thought that was cover three. All right, let's go with the stretch. Cam Akers has brought us this far. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Kyle Duggar's pretty quick. Way to be there. 19 rushes, 163 yards, three touchdowns, and two receiving touchdowns. That's a five-touchdown game for Cam Akers. He's ready for the... Oh, Yuzama might be able to moss him. Oh, Yuzama! Great catch. I'm looking for Rondell Moore here. Torched him. The zigs are so strong. All right, Rondell Moore is going to be our touchdown receiver. Dude, if Akers doesn't get a breakout, it's just not possible to get a breakout. It's that simple, bro. Or it's just up to pure chance whether you get it or not. This is just one of the best games he's ever had. Ooh, he went to pitch that. That pitch would have been a touchdown sponge. That was such a sick play. I can't believe he didn't pitch it. Chucking a couple more lobs, low key. Chase Young. Fucking savage, dude. I bet you this is a sack. For the final play of the game, it's a sack. Oh, no. He gets it off. Ambry Thomas. Oh, would have been nice, but a nice pass breakup. And that's all she wrote. Cam Akers. Player of the game, player of the week. Dude, if he doesn't get player of the week, I'm going to cry. Three rushing touchdowns, two receiving touchdowns. All right, let's take a look at the player stats. Now, I am so proud of this, okay? We ran the ball a lot, right? But look at Kyler's stats. I think that might be a perfect QBR, very close to it. 14 for 15, 171, 93% completion. He's absolutely got the best completion percentage in the whole franchise and three touchdowns. I think that completion percentage and his rushing yards are going to elevate him for MVP, but that's not the player of the game today. The player of the game is this fucking monster. He's been neglected so much, dude. A lot of games, he's getting two carries, three carries, 19 attempts, 163 yards, eight and a half average yards per carry, three touchdowns, nine. Count that shit up. Nine per Broken tackles. Receiving. Drake London at 5 for 79. Excited to see him involved. But Cam Akers at 5 for 55 and two touchdowns. That's five touchdowns, Cam Akers. He had a touchdown with Bobby Anderson. I had one with Rondell Moore. He was quiet today. Two for 17. Uzama had a very nice uh, aggro, but didn't do much other than that. Scantling had one. Uh, that was pretty much the ball game right there. I'm glad we got Drake London involved just a little bit. Keep his receptions and yards up. So we got everything on our staff goals. We got an interception, 20 points or less, 300 plus offensive yards, and we won the turnover battle. The Raiders just got shut out by the Chiefs. The Chiefs are now 4-0-1, 17-0 against the Raiders. They're 3-2. Now, the Chiefs are really, really good, and it was 17-0, so I'm not going to take the Raiders lightly, but it is good to see that they lost there. All right, now, a tough pill to swallow here. I played five games. The Panthers have played four. The Panthers are 0-4, and, and they have Aaron Rodgers, who is second league leading in passing. So he's got a whole nother game to play, and Josh Allen is first, and he's got a whole nother game to play. So that sucks, but let's go ahead and look at stats around the league. All right, taking a look at the whole NFL. Now, here's who's in front of Kyler Murray just in passing yards, and they still have another game to play, so these stats are going to change. So Kyler Murray's at 1485, happy for him, but Aaron Rodgers and Josh will definitely be in front of them in that stat. Touchdowns, I've got one on them, so Josh Allen only has to throw. Oh, wait, no, Josh Allen's played. He's played five. Josh Allen's played five, so it's just Aaron Rodgers that is in our way right now. Now, Josh Allen has thrown 10 interceptions. Aaron Rodgers has thrown six. Kyler Murray's thrown only four. All right, well, I'm really, really excited, praying that for week seven, we can get a breakout for Cam Akers. And if we do get a breakout, we're going to need some touchdowns. We're going to need some yards. So let's look at the Raiders team and see if we're going to be able to do that with Cam Akers. He's got Derwin James and Minka. Damn, he's got up top covered. He's got a good left tackle, great halfback, great right tackle, solid right end. Ooh, I'm happy if I don't see right end or D tackle. Brandon Williams is nice, but nobody I'm scared of. 79 overall. Greg Rizzo left end. Okay, his D-line's not that crazy. 
All right, boys, monster game for the Houston Texans. We're 5 0. We got to get a Cami X breakout. Next week is our bye, so we're going to chill out. Amazing game for the franchise squad. Week six is a bye. Week seven is the Raiders. What a start to the season for the Houston Texans. Let's get it. Thanks for watching, as always. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.